hello, hello, what is up, what is up, who's your buddy, Alert Wolf here, sorry about that, I get gunk in my eyes, but Alert Wolf here, to bring you another anime review, this time I'm doing it on Majestic Prince, episode 10, The, the Hunter and the Hunted, now, alright, more reveals in this one, more reveal, so basically, that's pretty much, it's, half of the episode is the reveals and then the other half is from the other camp so let me give you part a and in my opinion it's the most important part of this we get the history of uh the war wargaru right walgaru the walgaru the walgaru ah! Everybody loves the Walgaru. Anyway, the Walgaru. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, and that's being told by the uh, sexy double agent there. Uh, well, not double agent, but defector. Uh, Titori. Tit. Wait. Teoria. Teoria. Now, Teoria, she is this hot little chick. You know what I'm saying? Little princess. And she doesn't say, uh, you know, when asked about, later in the episode, when asked about Juto uh, and why they look alike, she doesn't say. But I get the fact that, I get the, I get the thing that she may be his brother and she may be the princess. Because they say she's nobility. Seems how, you know, their brother's the king, I think. And, uh, the mother... Alright, so look, before I even get that far, that's, that's still a little bit in the middle, let's start at the beginning. So basically, the, both, the, ex, the origins of the enemy gets explained, as well as their origins. And basically, this is what it is. They, the Walgaru, Walgaru, are an ancient race. As a matter of fact, they're the first race of humans. And what happens is, they were ne nearing genetic eventuality, um, th their species had run out of room genetically, you know? They couldn't go any further, and they were gonna die off. She said decline, but that, you know, that means they were gonna start to degenerate, because their genetic code was too thin. So... Which is the theory of de-evolution, but we're going to ignore that because they're talking about evolution. But, um, basically, so what they did was, in order to prolong their race, <coughs> excuse me, they scattered and seeded many planets with their genetic code in hopes that its offspring will thrive and produce some sort of, uh, genetic difference that they by nature uh, to overcome the said environments that they can then use to regenerate themselves and, and, and prolong their lives. Now, but what they do is instead of... See, this is weird to me, and they haven't explained this process yet. Instead of going to these planets and maybe taking them over and start interbreeding, I guess... They call, they say we, they say we, they call this the hunt, hence the title, and that we hunt them down, and then we like, they don't absorb them, they don't really, she doesn't really get into how they do what they do. But they look at these beings that they hunt as lower life forms, even though they're using their genetic distinctiveness to add that to their own. So, I, again, the exact process, if they're like vampiric and eat people, you know, they, they don't really fully explain how this process is done. Just that they end up killing the people they, they go after, their children. Which is weird, because that's kind of like fetal stem cell research. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to get political on you, but let's harvesting babies so that the future generation, the current generation may live longer. I'm just saying. Uh, Kind of that concept, you know. But uh, let's let's just keep going. <laughs> and uh, and 
that keeps going on until uh, 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 until they, they, they go from planet to planet. But finally, her mom said something and said these hunts are wrong, and their current target is Earth. And and to, to uh, Teoria, right? To, yeah, Teoria went to Earth to warn us. She gave us vital technology, and it was given to the division, uh, their division, because they were already trying to create humans that could survive the harshness of uh, space, hence the rabbits and all those other guys. And then with uh, they were able to create the five machines, which they use using uh, the system, and they were also given that in hopes of combining them. Just when they were finished is when these guys came out of nowhere, so that's pretty much it, you know. They're fighting their project, you know, their, their, their fathers, basically. The father of humanity is trying to beat them. <laughs> so it's their job to stop them, and they're probably going to be used as bait, as well as a distraction, and they have to be aware of that. So the team deals with that, but during some of the discussions, uh, she reveals to Izuru that, or, or um, Red Five, that they used to be friends, and uh, but they, again, she couldn't divulge more because that's not what they're there for. So that, and uh, what's her face, who, who, Tama Aki, or Irie, yeah, Irie, so, or Rose Three, she, she hits on, um, on the butler, basically, or the servant of, uh, Teoria, and, and that's pretty funny, and, uh, she, you know, she a horny chick, and so, the whole time, by the way, that, uh, Izuru is conversing with Teoria, you know, um, purple, uh, purple one there is getting, Ooh, is she getting ticked off and jealous? Like, uh, she is, she, or purple two, not purple one. Purple two. Kai, or Ki. Ki, she is, she is, ooh, she is getting jealous. Um, and then after that, they have, you know, moments of trying to figure things out, and the, the two that were happy to see people, um, Rose rose and red so to speak they're upbeat and happy and they also seem to be adapting to the system better than everybody else because they're more straightforward all right now now for the b part of the episode we go directly to mr villain himself uh jayato or jato yeah jato jato whatever and that dude is basically, or Jilto, Jilto, whatever. Uh, that dude, he gets summoned for another war council meeting. They all start talking. The king congratulates them for a job well done. Then they wanted to know about the special prey, and they cook. and he's like, dude, my prey, I'm not going to tell you guys about because he's my prey. And I want it for myself. I say, everybody pick a prey. And they're like, dude, there's only five of them. And the king's like, do what you want, but you know if new if you don't say anything, somebody else might hunt your prey. He goes, yeah, but if he falls so easily, then he was never worthy to be my prey in the first place. But don't worry, he's not going to die against these riffraff. Basically, he's, he's dissing his boys, and because uh, he's arrogant, you know, cocky, cocky prince, and uh, and so. This is what's going on. So, um, it's pretty good. To, and then, and then they they also start to refer that they we tra they go we translated some of the communications. They re refer to themselves as Earthlings. And then he's like, why don't we just call them that? And they're like, we've never done this before. He's like, yeah, but we haven't come across prey like this in a long time. We should treat them with respect. And that's pretty much how the episode ends. Now, the one thing I was trying to say before was that I think her mom. The noble that escaped, um, and she's hoping her mom's okay. She doesn't know. I think the mom 
was uh, was probably all of their mothers. You know what I mean? The mother of the former king or whatever it was. Or e either that or, or the king is actually her dad and then... And then her mom was his wife. But I, I'm assuming that her mom is all of their their mothers. Or if the, the brothers are half-brothers, at least his brother, you know, and her, or his mom and her mom. So that's what I'm thinking anyway. That's, that's on my conjecture list there. But, you know, she was part of the group that, that uh, sorry about that, that disagreed. So that's what I think is going on. But we haven't heard... Too much more about it yet so we don't know but that's my conjecture now what am i gonna this this episode this episode had zero action in it except for that one scene with the crossbow but zero action in it but knowledge boy did it it hit you with a lot of knowledge and you found out a lot of things about this universe and the way things are working in this story so for all the reveals, man, and there were some good, good reveals. I'm gonna give this one uh, a three and a half out of five. It wasn't a four, but it was a little bit better than a good. I think it was a very good because I mean I don't like this. I like to see more action out of this thing, but the development of the story is crucial, and we really got some big reveals in this. So and I and I really like it, and it helped progress the story. And now we understand why the, these kids are so special, why there's only five units, and obviously they're going to try to get out, make more. So, but I like all that. So I'm digging the direction this is going, and the fact that they're all getting better, you know? And the, the, the comedy is still there, so I, I enjoy it. So, with that being said, click it up if you like it, comment if you must, and please, please, please subscribe if you can. And this is your buddy Alert Wolf signing off.